Greetings from Amina, this is BDA Limey. Welcome back to Death Road's tournament where you're going to try out one of the new drivers, Eddie. Okay, Eddie Swift Daddy Davis. Uh, immediate thing that jumps out from his cards is his acceleration deceleration card uh, adds the burn effect. So at the beginning of your turn, discard two random cards from your hand and then lose one burn. Uh, also, three of the cards in his skid deck have burn on them as well. Uh, so we're going to be losing cards, which just seems bad. I guess the upside is this only costs one uh, compared to Zed's version of this card, which costs two. Uh, in addition, we've got Rollin to move, uh, which lets us cycle a card as well. Uh, and then Contemplating, contemplating uh, which costs two, uh, but lets us either change gear and gain a handling uh, or draw two cards uh, and gain an extra handling bash damage. So, and we've also got memory card, which uh, increases our hand limit by one, which hopefully will help to offset these things a little bit. Uh, I think Eddie is going to be harder than Zed. Uh, I think having Zed's 10 block at the start of every fight is absolutely huge. So I don't expect to win with Eddie, but uh, this isn't about winning. It's more about trying him out and see how he plays. Let's go for the Buck Continental. Okay, what have we got? One additional gadget, additional component. Looking for the healing one again. Uh, free condition is there. Fix, chop, chop, fix. And it's not the greatest way to go. Um, want to try and encounter as many other challenges as possible to try and unlock them on this run. <sighs> but I need that free condition, I think. Okay, forward firing at an angle. So, we will go. Up oh, with that. What do we not want? That. We need to go up a gear somehow. Well, we can do that. Go back and ram twice. We want to be right in front. Go back with that. Get off the gear. Uh, then hit you with that and gain some block. And I'm gonna do that as well. And yeah, just hope we don't skid a bad way. Ah. Okay, we would ideally like you to be in front of us. That's probably not gonna happen. Got a third. Don't need to go that way. may actually be easiest to use. Get rid of that as well. Okay, no help. We can do that, we need to get behind him. Draw cards. Oh god, need some more breaking. Don't need that. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess we can go up. Forces him to move if he wants to hit us with his weapon. What does he do? Bash damage? Three in one? Ah, uh, let's stay here. I'm gonna gamble he's not got his 
weapon he does. Okay, great. We are taking way too much damage. Fortunately, that'll do the job. Okay, um, that is temp. Oh, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's better than the weapon we've got, but maybe we would like to get rid of automatic gear because it's too expensive, and it gives us a bit more flexibility. Yeah, let's go for that. Can we just kill you first, go? Alas, I think not. down cycle this go up a gear go back one go back two bash you at least And I could play that and put myself into a skid, but then I, I would have moved forward, so it doesn't really work. Bash. Bash. Shortcut. More flexible steering, but more burn. So inflict burn. I don't think any of these are great. Collect it, but I won't equip it. Not that my current set of wheels is really any good, but... Wait, is, is Zed above us? I guess Zed is above us. Um, we better fix here because there's not another fix station coming up for a while. Uh, yeah, we don't need to fight you, Zed, because we don't need to unlock you, but unfortunately, we're gonna, we're gonna be fighting you. Oh. Well, at least it'll get us a gadget if we live. Shoot you. Oh, God, you're the shotgun guy. Behind him. Can I come up here? Put this guy between the two of us. Get rid of that. Mm, so we can go up to third gear. That's Still doesn't let us steer with this. Oh, we. Oh, yeah, we're in second gear. Okay. Go up again. Back. One. Two. Forward one. 
back to. And. Okay, we can force ourselves to skid. Do you want to skid in third gear or first gear? We could end up in a bad position either way. Third, I guess. Okay. Okay, that worked out all right. Ish. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> the neck. Okay, we bash you. Shoot you. Down. Place that. Mm. Yeah, we don't want to get hit by him. Get rid of you. And draw two cards. And that's all we can do. Ah, uh, no. How do you have those cards again? Up and shoot. Taking way too much damage. So, drone, wrecking ball. Old exhausting tech. Galling turret is rear facing. That's forward facing. Yeah, I think. Because uh, we've got so little handling. Taking this for the extra handling seems good. But. I don't know. Driver lock. Uh, and it potentially lets us draw. I'm not sure, even for this, I'm not sure I want to get rid of that, the um, SMG burst there. So let's take the drone. Because every point of damage we can block is <laughs> one less point of damage we've got to heal. Okay, 50% chance to gain 20 or lose 20. Gain 20. Nice. Mobile service. You spot an old mobile fuel dispenser trailing along the road. You remember these things rolling out in the early 40s, but after the moon crash, they were left unattended and most of them perished. You could not only refuel with it, but also perform some basic repairs. Luckily, it looks like this one is still in service. It still requires payment. Uh, lose 20 scrap. Gain 15. Ooh. 50% uh, chance to gain 10 or lose 10. Gain 40 scrap, lose 10. Uh, I will pay 20 to heal, for sure. Given we have no healing here, and then we're going to be fighting Zed. Um, how many spare parts do we have? Three? I guess let's go there then and sell those. So one, two, and I guess we can't sell the other one because it's garbage. Which means we don't have enough to buy any of that. Uh, we could buy this, which is an upgrade. A small upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. We do need to upgrade our wheels still. That's one extra handling bash damage inflicts rumble which is nice gives us grip which is good it's just more flexible on steering as well so that is a pretty big improvement but the cards are also more expensive and we don't have a lot of handling Oh, 
calls this. Which basically gives us one more bash. It improves our bash damage by one, but we're not really in it for the bash damage. Uh, I'm going to take this, I think. I think, I think, I think. So we will pop you on there. And then... Save changes. We will sell that. And then we will fight Zed. Alright Zed. Rear facing cannons and a shotgun. More likely to skid down than skid up. Pretty good at... Well... Yeah, pretty good at catching us up wherever we are. Which makes life a little awkward, but yeah, definitely better to stay out ahead of him. So... Alright, we can't hit him unless we go down, and then when we go down we're gonna go back. Far behind can he hit the squares? Still, maybe we do that. So go down there. Replace this. Uh, let's give ourselves some lock. Actually, if we went up, can we go up a gear? We can go up a gear and go forward. Uh, let's shoot him once. Let's shoot him again. And then, what are we in? Second gear? Hmm. I can drop back. I'll put myself into a skid. And... Hope that I don't go into the barrier. I did not. Okay, good. Three damage, that's fine. Okay, uh, those going asphalt, those going gravel, okay. Now we need to be ahead, ideally. This is going gravel, this is going to push us back. Uh, we go down, we can get alongside him with that, we could get ahead of him with that. Uh, can we do it? Two. Oh, no, we can't, because this only pushes us forward one. We need to draw some cards. Drone protection seems like a good idea. Maybe just... It's rear facing cannons do 9 damage. I don't want to be behind him. If I can avoid it. So we'll go down one. We will go... Forward one. Then we'll go forward two. Back one. Use that to go down a gear and cycle a card. We're not necessarily. How much sp uh, bash damage does he do? Only two? Yeah, we've got six grip. We're not necessarily going to split, so I'm going to. Oh, frick. <laughs> All right. Weaken you with that. Oh, God. 
again. I need to get in front of him. Probably needs to be top priority. Go up. Cycle. For now you, I'm not going to get ahead. That's the opposite of the card that I need. Go forward. I'm going to sabotage him while I can. I am going to get some drawing protection. Could go down and bash him. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Stupid gravel lane. Uh, oh, no. Okay, down again. Uh, ooh, that's weird. That got offset. Oh, looks like we now have a permanent graphical glitch. Huh. Weird. I've got to get ahead of this guy. Okay, up two gears. We don't want to go behind. We need to move up, but we can do it with that. Don't want to go down, get rid of that. Did I just redraw the same card? I feel like I just redrew the same card. Okay, forward one and six block. Let's do this. Let's shoot you. Then we go forward two and back one and we go into a skid and hopefully we skid down. Wrong way. Nope, not, nope, down, down. Getting ahead of this guy is such a pain. Okay, he's taking more damage. So one more damage from all our weapons. Yeah, we need more. We need a better engine that lets us go forward. Well, then again, maybe he isn't. Well, that was what? Overload. Increase your condition and handling damage from all sources. Deal this type of damage. Okay. Go up with that and go forward one with that. If I can get him to skid out though. Maybe I bash him. I gotta bash him three times. Do that. Draw two more cards. Well, that would help. Does not help. Uh, bash. Doesn't that do more handling damage as well? Oh no, he's just taking more condition damage. He deals less condition and handling damage, sorry. Right. Oh. Yeah, struggling here. I'm in absolutely the wrong position. Go down.
We're not going to be able to afford that. Are we? Is this the handling that we've got now or after? I think this is be what we had before we played this card. So let's get rid of you two. Yeah. Up here on Bash. It's not going to put him into a skid though. Right back where I started. <sighs> we can put him into a skid. We should probably put him into a skid. He's in fourth gear. He may smash into the wall, but he does not. Nah. No, he won't smash into the wall. He will not smash into the wall. Okay, we hit him with that because he does more damage. What are we going to draw pile? Nothing. In that case, do that. Ugh. Okay. Doesn't re- it's, uh. I'm not sure how much it helps moving out from right behind him because if he's got one of these He's going to get a movement card. He's still going to be able to move to line us up. So why waste our time doing that? Let's go forward and bash him again. Oh, shoot. No! That is not what I wanted to happen. At least he's down to 18 health. Drone you. Bash you. Come on. We go up a gear. Can bash him again. First, bash him again. Come on, one more bash. Six. Up. And down and forward. No, because of the stupid asphalt. Again. <laughs> Such a pain. Flipping heck. I'm just going to run away. Run away. Run away, run away, run away. Turn. You dare hit me. <sighs> we move down again and we go back again. We are just cursed. Okay, down again. Get rid of that. SMG burst. There we go. Good grief. 33 health. But Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. 
Alright, uh, sports wheels. We do need to improve our wheels. We do need better accel... I don't know. I say we need better acceleration. That's not... I don't fully understand overload. Increase your condition and handling damage from all sources that deal this type of damage. The enemy had overload on him. And we were not dealing more damage to him. As far as I could see. I don't know. Yeah, I don't fully understand what that does. Plasma shot going forwards. Maybe doing condition damage. It never feels like doing more condition damage is better than doing more health damage. It can be good if it puts them into a spin when a lane is closing off or if they're close to a barrier, but if that's not the case, which it isn't most of the time, then it doesn't generally make much difference as to where they're going to end up. So I don't know, what I've got still feels better than that. I think I'm going to take these just so I've got a little better control over where I go. And we're getting 10 block at the start of our first turn of a battle. Oh, okay, great. We have Zed's gadget. That is big, actually. <laughs> However, we're on 33 health. There is no fixed station coming up. Uh, unless we do two fights. So that is what we're going to do. Pick the minimum number of fights. <sighs> Don't have a good feeling about this. I don't need to be in front, but then I'm still not safe from him. I take him out first. Then getting in front. I can at least be safe. So, let's do drone sabotage on you. And then shoot both of you. Then it'd be hard to get past. Let's go up a gear, move forward. We want to stay in second. Move up. Place that because we don't want to break. Give it a one, yeah, okay. Uh, that's good because it gives us some block. We're in a bad place to be skidding, though. Could do that. I might that might actually get me in front of him. <laughs> it might get me into the wall as well. Let's do it. Let's gamble. Oh, come on. At least we had a bunch of block that time. You really only do two hand, uh, handling damage on your bash. You do two bash damage as well, but I guess with a block in it. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I guess we want to shoot him with these because then we will actually kill him so we need to go go back into first gear go there go down 
Get rid of SMG burst now. And then fire behind. And fire behind. And... Use that to get a little further ahead of him. Yeah. Oh god, still not far enough ahead of him. Okay, drone protection. He is... Oh, we got one, two, three up. And three down. So he's pretty likely to skid into me. sucks. 19 health. Draw. One forward. One up. Get rid of SMG burst. Five left. I guess we can't pull ahead anymore, so we may as well. Now this will make him do less damage to us though, so I should have done this first. That's all right, he'll still have that on him less next go. Good. Oh, good. No, oh, bad. Oh, good. Goodbye. Oh, no, not goodbye. I'm never sure when these things change. All right. Uh, I think if you go up and shoot him, he'll be dead. Seventeen health, though. Yikes. Steam engine. Premium canisters. That is a big upgrade. Equip. God. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I survived one of two fights. Cult of Cult. Um, gain a component, lose an unequipped weapon. Gain 10 health, lose an unequipped weapon. Yes. Thank you. Uh, 27 health, though. It's rough. It's rough. We need as much money as we can get. We can't sell either of those, so... We're going to need to heal. So let's go to the scrapyard and get some scrap. And now it's basically survive this fight and we're in with a chance. Don't survive this fight uh, and, well, we're dead. Two enemies. Okay, you again. You're annoying because you fire him forward and backwards. To the side and backwards. Okay, so we really, 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 really want to get up ahead. Get to fourth gear. Is that possible? No. 
It is not. So this is where it's like... Mm, God. Do I just stay up? Go up and f as far forward as I can? And there's no guarantee that stops me getting hit. I guess it just it reduces the odds, right? Rather than trying to take a shot at him with this, it's like, forget that. Get into a safe position. We want to go up a gear first. And we'll do that. Then we go that. And then we've got 16 block at least. And you know, if I escape from one or both of these, that would also be completely fine. Forward two. Sadly, we got to go back one. Don't like being here when he's got his stereo blast. Um, but... So we'll go up one and we will draw probably that one. Breaking pad, that is the opposite of what we want. Mm, okay, well that's it. That's as far ahead as we can get. So end turn. Oh no, it's not. We could have done smoking. <gasps> Shoot. Can we get you to skid into here? That would be ideal. Gotta smack you twice. You could... What are your skid guys? Equal chance of either way. Oh, we gotta go for it. Gotta go for it. So, and then what? Do we want to keep this to try and get away from this guy? It's annoying because he's lined up for this, but... This has got to be our top priority. Probably don't need that. Oh, good. Stay that. No. Why? Ah. Frig. Well, I guess then we oil ignition you. We oil ignition you again, and then we. <laughs> We power shift and we be smoking as well. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that was lucky. Ten health. I think I already hope is to get him to steer into there again. Which means ramming him. Which means going up a gear. He may end up ramming us. Now this is where I wish I had a weapon that did condition damage. 
need to do this as well, though. Four, seven, eight. What have we got in our draw pile? Nothing. <sighs> go up a gear. Go up a gear with that. Actually, that only costs one then, doesn't it? Go up a gear with that. Go... Forward with that and down. And then we ram you. Oh no, I should have made him weak first. Oh, why didn't I do this first? I am an idiot. Frick. Ah, oh, I th that might have just lost me the game. Ah. Frick. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> Thank you, Denmark. Ah. Oh. 82, level 4. That's wild, though. That run score was as high as a run score I got last night when I got all the way to ECCT, almost. I think this is just a, a random number between uh, 1 and 120 from what I've seen so far. I have no idea how that's calculated. Did we unlock anything, though? We did. Uh, some equipment. Uh, okay. Okay. Are these good things? These may be good things, possibly. Hard to assess. All situational, I guess. We unlocked a new gadget. Our weapon cards deal two condition damage more if you haven't played any weapon cards last turn. Interesting, do we not already have that unlocked? And the monster truck. Oh, well. Okay, good. Yeah, I originally had this unlocked in the pre-release version, uh, and then... All my progress was lost. Um, so it is good to have that back. That's going to be an interesting one to try again. Uh, I think I know some better ways maybe to play that now. Uh, I might have a bit more luck with that. But that is going to do it for me for now. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, this is BDLime signing out. Bye for now.